Hello everyone, welcome to EGDU and today we are going to discuss about radioactive decay law. This law states that the rate of disintegration of nuclei at any time is directly proportional to the number of nuclei present at that time. This is the initial statement of the law which represents the rate of disintegration dn by dt is directly proportional to the number of nuclei present at that time. Uh, the final form of the law is a radioactive substance decay exponentially with time. This is the final form of the radioactive decay law. Using this initial statement, we will derive the equation for this final form, which is a radioactive substance decay exponentially with time. Uh, or the number of nuclei at that time is equal to the number of initial nuclei present in the uh, radioactive materials uh, and e power minus lambda t. Uh, here is the graph which represents the number of disintegration of nuclei uh, with respect to time uh, or with respect to ha every half life. Here we can see that uh, every after every half life the number of nuclei uh, decreases due to radioactive decay uh, which means that the number of nuclei in the parent uh, radioactive material is always greater than the number of nuclei present in the daughter nuclei because after every half life half of the parent nuclei decays which results in the daughter nuclei. Uh, so the initial statement is minus del n divided by del t is directly proportional to n. Here minus del n represent the rate of change of number of nuclei in the sample of radioactive material. Uh, so the first uh, statement of the law is that this uh, rate of change of nuclei is directly proportional to the, the number of nuclei are in differential form we can say that dn by dt uh, is directly proportional to n. Here this negative sign uh, represents that the number of nuclei uh, decreases with the passage of time or after every half life. So we have this negative sign here for that. Removing this proportionality sign we can replace this by lambda. So we have minus del n by del t is equal to lambda n where this lambda is the constant of proportionality and this is known as decay constant. The value of this lambda depends on the nature of the element. Different elements have different value for lambda. Uh, so uh, multiplying both sides of the equation with minus we will have del n by del t is equal to minus lambda n or dn by dt is equal to minus lambda n. Now we are going to do some mathematical tricks. We will multiply both sides of this equation with n and will multiply both sides with dt. So on the left hand side we will get 1 over n dn and on the right hand side we will get minus lambda into dt. Now we are going to integrate this equation. The limits are from uh, initial number of nuclei to the final number of nuclei and for over n dn. So on the right hand side we have minus lambda which is a constant. We are left with 1 and taking integration of 1 with respect to time. Uh, the limits are from 0 the starting time up to the uh, final time. Uh, so we know that integration of 1 over n will be equal to log of n and here we have the limits from n naught to n and on the right hand side we have minus lambda which is a constant and taking integration with respect to dt uh, uh, of 1 we will have t and the limits will be from 0 to t. Now substituting the limits putting limits on the right left hand side of the equation we will have log of n minus log of n naught and on the right hand side minus lambda is a constant we will have t which is 
this limit and the second limit is 0 so we have t minus 0 now according to the rules of logarithm we know that if we have a term log of a minus log of b then we can write that term in the form of log of a by b so that is the rule of logarithm and applying that rule here we will get log of n by n naught on the left hand side if you multiply minus lambda with, with 0 that will become 0 and we are left only with minus lambda t so we have log of n by n naught is equal to minus lambda t now taking nt log on both sides of the equation this log will cancel out with the nt log and we will get exponential term on the right hand side which is e power minus lambda t so we have n by n naught is equal to e power minus lambda t uh, now multiplying both sides of this equation with n naught we will get n is equal to n naught e power minus lambda t and this is the final form of radioactive decay law this last tells us that a radioactive substance decays exponentially with time and this law is a statistical one it does not tell us when a particular nuclei will decay but only tells us that after a certain time a certain fraction will decay uh, where the term this dn by dt is uh, decay rate of decay that's it thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe easy to you for more videos